Hey guys, it's Mimi. I'm a trusty sidekick. I don't think your microphone is on. <laughs> but old Vinny's here. <laughs> and his microphone is on. Mine is too. Yeah, where's y'all? How is it my job to turn your microphone on? Your job is to say to me you're not coming through my earphones. As soon as you spoke, I said you're not coming through your microphone. I've been speaking the on. whole time. <laughs> Jeez. We've been speaking the whole time. Hey guys, it's Maddie and my trusty sidekick. Oh, Vinny's here. Now the that you responsible can hear me. one. <laughs> Everything that goes wrong, I'm responsible. <laughs> Jeez. Don't start. Don't start. Don't mind Vinny. He's upset. Hunting season's over. Okay. Look, it is a tragic day <laughs> in my life. Oh. You look fresh I mourned, and revived, though. I mourned last night. Let's you trust. mourned? Is that why you're wearing black today, not camo? I'm wearing black. Gosh, he hasn't mourning. been out of camo in a long time, has he? <laughs> I'm mourning. Oh, uh, y'all. It's afternoon, though. Yeah. Y'all I'm still mourning in the love. afternoon. We're a couple minutes early, which never happens. A couple minutes early. Um, so we'll wait just a second. Um, send Vinny some love because he's, this is how he described it to me. When, um, I guess it was last year when they canceled the Christmas Village. Mm -hmm. And you said, you know how you feel that you don't get to go to Christmas Village? I said, yeah. He said, that's how I feel when hunting season's over. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. So, you're so disappointed. So disappointed. What I said to you one time was, imagine that on February the 10th, you could not craft until October the 15th. He did tell me that one time, and I was like, but why? <laughs> and he was crafting like, crafting season. It's crap. Oh, gosh, that'd be horrible. No I crafting do it. season. You have to stop from now till October 15th. So, guess what I decided to do today? Craft. <laughs> crafting season just started. No, here's what I decided to do today. I want to make this card the way I want to make it, Smart Alex. <laughs> <laughs> So if you don't know, <laughs> if you don't know, my design team challenged me with an off-limit challenge last Tuesday, or Tuesday, two days ago, and I ended up with this card, which is cute. It's real cute. But you notice there's some colors missing, right? So I want to make this card and make it the way I would make it, with nothing off-limits. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to make it with nothing off-limits. Yay! People have gotten their stamp sets. They've gotten their stamp sets. Are y'all excited? Where's all my smart aleck design team? <laughs> um, they all, by the way, I think all of them, I don't know, a bunch of them messaged me and said that I did a good job and they were proud of me and I appreciate it. So but are you going to make this one just black, white, and red? Only black, white, and red for the most part. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to cheat a little bit and I'll show y'all. This is a tip, okay? If you have a scan and cut machine or if you sit down and do your fussy cutting, listen, do it and then put them in your pocket that you hold your stamp sets in. You know what I'm saying? And look, we even have one that's already been colored. Shannon did that one. And look, I even have some for backups that I stamped. And so um, y'all know how in that video I said, don't forget to take this guy out and I'm talking like I know what I'm talking about. I'll be like, now here's a tip, blah, blah, blah. This is why, because I learned the hard way. <laughs> Here's a tip, because she's so good at this. She, like, thinks of all this stuff at a time. No, she doesn't. Um, <laughs> so we're going to make it. And I may, I'm not even going to look at this card. I'm going to do in my head what I want to do, okay? I definitely want a giraffe. This kitty cat, uh, Shannon Colored, I'm going to use that kitty cat. I'm going to use this dog. And I'll use the bear, too. We got them. Why not? And I'm not going to use the rest of that. Colored pencils? Yeah, I didn't think about that, yeah. So all of this is going to go back into my pocket so I can use it next time. I did this last night for the first time. Yay! Oh, y'all are cute. Um, I'm reading comments today because I feel like it. Sometimes I don't because it gets me distracted. Okay, so what I'm going to do, let's color first. The puppy dog, super easy. He's going to be black and white. And I'm just going to use this, um, actually... I do need to do color pencils because this is color pencil, but I mean, you don't have to, but you want to do. But he's going to be black and white. So I'm going to take my little black jelly roll pen. This pen has come in so handy for me. This black, I love my white pen too, but I never realized how much I would lean to this. I mean, for everything. Like, I use it to journal uh, when I journal. And everybody knows how awful that, how awful that is. 
I use it for signing cards. I use it for stitch line. Like this pen is maybe getting more use than my white pen. So I appreciate it. That's what I'm telling you. I appreciate it. <laughs> then he's like, I hear you. Well, actually, I'm looking at your microphone and trying to figure out why at one moment you're really loud and the next moment you're not. And I think it's basically because when you look down, it picks you up really good. I whisper when I look down. Does it cost more to send a slimline card? It is possible. It is possible. I need my little, my little thingy, my little chart. I'm not really sure. Oh wait, I can tell you. Where's that card from Terrence? See how much his postage was. Um, 71 cents. Um, 71 cents is how much it costs to send that slimline card from Texas to me. And a regular card was 70. And the regular card was 70 cents, so then no. Well, and by regular, I mean like a normal size card. An A2 or a greeting card? A greeting card. So size. a bigger than A2 yeah, card. Yeah, regular, regular postage yeah. is now 71 cents when you run it through a machine. Oh, so neither of those do, even have a non-machinable charge on them. And then if you do a non-machinable charge, you get another 20 cents, so. It's probably more than 20 cents. It's, well, that's 20 cents for us. That's what I have to pay. Because we do it uh, non-machinable on the uh, stamp club. Mm. I can't talk while I'm, while I'm dotting. He is cute. I'm going to put a little paw print. So is this bear turning into a panda or are you No, just... this is a dog. What? This that's is the, the dog. dog. He's got floppy ears. You see ears. by his floppy ears. So that's Spot. Got floppy ears. Spot. And the bear is going to be a brown bear for Ford. A brown bear. Wow. Ford loves bears. Bear. You know this, right? Your nephew loves bears. He does. He's a bear fan. You know I forgot to get that bear for him at Rustic. I didn't see that bear. <gasps> Did you look for it and it was gone? I don't remember. Oh, that. I hope it's not gone. I don't remember where we saw it at. We saw it in that booth, the new big booth with the crop pots. New big booth with crop pots. Mm. You know. With the succulents. Yep. Now I'm sad. But I don't I don't remember. Maybe he, I don't think you said get it until Til after maybe that. after we had already gone through there. So I found this little brass bear at Rustic Relics. I did not get it at the time because I thought it was a little, I thought it was a little kitty. But then the more I thought about it, what it is, Vince, this is the cutest thing. It's a little bear. He's flat on the back. He hangs on the wall. Yeah. And his bottom, his little foot paw, his bottom paw, his rear paw, his rear paw is poked out, but everything else is flat. So his rear paw is like a holder for like. A hook. It's a hook. It's like a wall hook, right? Yeah. How much would Ford like that? He probably would. To put would. his backpack on or his mask, hang his mask on. And or... you messed up and didn't buy and it. I didn't get it. And then when we went back the other day, I forgot. So you know what that means? A third trip to Rustic Relics in five days. Unless you want me to message her. Yeah. It was in that booth. Can, do you think we can explain it? Wasn't it brass? It was brass. Mm-hmm. I did find something for Lydia while we were there the other day. I, found, I didn't. Shannon found it. This little tiny basket. It looks like a little shopping basket, like a, like, you know, our Unita baskets, the little handheld baskets. Mm -hmm. It's one of those. And it's metal little red handles. How cute would that be for her fake fruit and stuff? Oh, yeah. Too cute. So I got her that, and I wanted to get him the bear, and I guess we didn't think about it in the same at the right time. So I need to go back and get that. Sorry, y'all. I should be working, but I'm just talking. So you're thinking that you're going to go to Rusty Relics this afternoon after work? I don't work. know. I don't want to miss out on that. I usually go on Fridays. Today's Thursday, so if she'll hold it till tomorrow. Here I was telling her, do you 24 hour thing? And I'm like, can I come tomorrow? <laughs> I'm throwing your name in. <laughs> She'll know you now though. Okay, so there's my little brown bear. And now let's make him some paw prints, a little darker. With, I have a, I have a brown pen, y'all. Vinny Boo. Look at him, mm -hmm. what a guy. Oh, and it's a different shade of brown, so it'll really show up. That's so awesome. These pens, I like them. I like them a lot. Okay, let's do his face a lighter brown. All the shades of brown. Here we go. No, let's do a pink, because didn't you do the kitty ear pink? You did. 
let's do them pink inside here. Just a light pink. Just a light pink. Oh, his ears. I still need to do his face. That's what I was supposed to be doing was his face. Let's try this color. I want to see if I like the color. Here's a tip. Flip it over. Yeah, that's what I want. The back's not going to show. So you can just test color pencil on the back. Marker don't do that with. Marker will bleed through sometimes. But color pencil's not going to show. This is a cute bear. Cute bear. Cute little bear. So cute. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to blender pencil. Let's see if I can smooth it out a little bit. Yeah, I can. Shannon did this with her cat. So I thought this would look good if they kind of matched. You blended it out, didn't you? I did. Very good. I was trying to calico him. We still have these blender pencils in store. I think we do. Possibly. They're really cool. I should probably... Yes, they are. Let me show you the difference. So this side has been blended. This side has not. So I'm going to blend that one in a second. But you see how smooth that looks? Let me hit this with the blender and we'll, I'll bring it back up. Well, I don't see it. We had them and they were in the D or the E section. Prismacolor, we, uh, by the way. It's ugly weather here today, too, uh, Pammy. <laughs> sorry. And it's getting cold. Yesterday it was 70. It was very hot. Yeah, we're out of stock. I'll put them on our list. Today. I love these. We need to make sure because um, I promise when we were counting, I saw some. I'll check. Okay, <clears throat> so he's all blended out. And see how it just smooths him out? Love this thing. Love it. All right, now then let's do Jerry Giraffe. It's Jerry with a G. Jerry the Giraffe. I think I'm going to use this color for his spots. Let's check it. Yes, I do. So we'll do his spots in dark brown, like so. Boy, do we have some interesting news for y'all in the after show today. Uh, do you know if that blender pencil will work on uh, correct uh, Crayola pencils? Probably. I mean, these are not, it's just a Prismac, these are not Prismacolor. Like, I'm, I'm just mixing yeah. it up. So I think it'll work on any. I think it's more the lead in it than it is like the matching of the pencil. I don't know what the lead is, but it works really well. And you can sometimes do that with a white color pencil. Have you ever done that, Shannon? No. Uh -uh. Sometimes you can go over it with white, and it'll lighten the color, but it'll also sometimes help you blend it out a little bit. So if you just have a white one, you can try it with that, but it will lighten, obviously, what you're coloring. Anyway, we have some interesting news for you guys. We now have three wreath kits in store spring and easter now i want to tell you something i'm going to show them in the after show but i want to say something to you about them one of them looks like an easter kit and it kind of is it's got um shannon wrote hoppy easter on the sign this one comes with an erasable chalkboard sign so it can be easter but then you can change it you can there's one ribbon like you can change one ribbon in it and turn it into whatever you want it to be so that one is a spring slash Easter because you can make it Easter with the ribbon that's in it or you can change the ribbon out to like a check or something more solid and then erase your board. And by the way, it comes with a chalk marker. Did I say that already? It comes with a chalkboard and a chalk marker. The sign is a chalkboard and you get a chalk marker in the kit. And I do want to say that we don't have very many. And we, I'm sorry, but we, we got all we could get. We are trying to get wreath forms and our supplier and everyone we're finding because most of the people are supplied by our supplier won't have them for a long time and i've been looking on amazon to try to link you guys for amazon and they are outrageously expensive right now so we got all the forms we could get so if you don't have a wreath form free for the next i don't know six months you might consider picking up one of the kits and then just reusing your wreath form because you can just take all the stuff off because we don't hot glue because i'm telling y'all they're going to be hard to come by they're going to be expensive Good wreath forms. And I don't know what's going to happen everywhere else, but good. these are, these I'm very, I know these are great quality wreath forms. And I know these will hold up to multiple, multiple use. All right, so there's that. So we need a little bit of orange. How orange do I want him? <clears throat> I think I want him the color I did that bear's face. 
is this one. Yeah, all that cold weather you guys are experiencing, we're supposed to be here uh, Monday, t Tuesday, and Wednesday of this week, but for some reason it just hung up wherever it's at and didn't move toward us. So now they're saying that we may get it the first part of next week. So that look like it's going to, they're not predicting as bitterly cold as they were before. Yeah. But it's still supposed to, the temperature is supposed to drop today mm -hmm. after the rain, and we're supposed to be in the 40s for highs. Which in this be, building, I don't care what it is outside, it's cold in here. It's chilly. It is cold in this building all the time. Yeah. <clears throat> The giraffe is looking fire. I like it. He's very cute. Um, so grab your Easter wreaths while we got them. And when he said we don't have many, I haven't even done, I haven't done anything but post them on the website and put them on Discord for Discord users to know they were there. And I think Tamitha posted it on Instagram and they were already selling. Yeah, I don't think we had but 70? All together. Of total. So if you want one, you might want to grab it. All right, and we brought the Easter ones out early so we could get them in the post. I don't really need to blend him out. I like him having a little texture. <laughs> Willow, I, I'm not sure that's a good idea, but we're glad you're with us. Um, also, for anybody interested, we added this today too, which I'll go into detail in the after show, but while I'm coloring, we added two design team classes. Uh, design team classes design space classes. Um, they are beginner design space. They are design space 101. So many of you have been emailing me, messaging me, uh, commenting, please teach cricket again. And I used to do cricket classes and some of you have taken my cricket classes. And so I've brought back the 101 class. It'll be the 2021 version because, you know, design space has changed over time. But if you want to get in on that, Shannon will put those links up too. So, and we'll talk more about that in detail at the, in the after show. All right. This is the base from a slimline card, because I am still making a slimline card, so this guy needs to be nine by three and a half. And I need to tell y'all, because y'all probably realize this, I don't make my card, my slimlines, the, the size most people do. Like a lot of people, like if you watch other crafters, they do a whole different size than I do. The reason I make my cards this size is because I like for them to... <laughs> Where'd that go? It's down here. Did you see it? I like for them to fit in a standard number 10 envelope. These number 10 envelopes are the ones we have in the store, which I love because they're like the policy fold, which are so cool. But a standard number 10 envelope you get from anywhere, this is the size that fits in it. So your card base needs to be nine and a fourth by seven and a half. And so I'm gonna go ahead and cut my card base. Oh, I thought this felt thick. I'm getting two bases. Okay, seven and a half. See how nobody's buzzing me today? See how I'm just working with the flow? I got flow going on. I'm just like, no, I don't want to be buzzed. No, I don't want to no be buzzing. buzzed. No buzzing. No buzzing. I'm enjoying not being buzzed. I'm enjoying picking up any tool I want to pick up. I'm going to put these aside because I think I'm done with them and I'm going to knock them over if I don't. I understand. I'm slinging stuff around. All Minus. right. Minus. Tammy says in Montana it's minus 18 right now, and it's supposed to go down to minus 29 tonight. Wow. How do you stay warm? And how does your dadgum heater even keep up with that? Your dadgum heater? Dadgum heater. Your dadgum heater can't keep up with that. My house would be miserable. It's bad as it is. I was so cold last night. You'd have to build a big night. old fire somewhere. I wouldn't come to work. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'd freeze to death if I got outside because I'm cold all the time as it is. I was so cold last night. My feet were so cold, just in my house, because my husband is all about it. Um, when I got home yesterday, it was hot, and I had been sweating in that hunting What's blind. that? Is that good news? Did you get something from her? I, don't, um, I got it, but I don't know what it is. Look, because it, cause it looks like it might be good. Um, please, if you don't mind looking. So, Blood. it was... She just said call her. Oh, that's it? Yeah. Okay, tell her Should we're on live. No, tell her I we're on live and see. You can text her. Okay. It just said yes, and then she said that. So um, so my card is very similar to last time, but you remember how last time I wasn't allowed to use any punches or anything or do anything I wanted to do? Oh, or no hearts. How can you not use hearts at Valentine's? 
So this is how it was going to be laid out. And look how cute they pop on the white. Remember design teams couldn't use white. But look at the difference. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to do some hearts too. I'm going to do some hearts. You couldn't do hearts yesterday. I know. Or Tuesday. With this punch. With this punch. Okay. That I'm allowed to use. No one can stop me. Don't even try, Shannon. I heard that. <laughs> oh, I could use pink. But you don't want to use pink. Look at the pink, though. Oh, that's pretty. Pretty pink. Pretty pink. She might use pink. It's glittery. She's going to use pink. Really? She's thinking. <laughs> <laughs> We're speaking in third person today, clearly. No, we're going to use red. <laughs> you sound like Danny. What was that from? Some play y'all did. Oh, it was from um, Mama's Play, where back they're going back, back, in, back to Bethlehem. That was his Through sound. <laughs> Through the time warp. I'm gonna... <laughs> you literally sound just like it. I'm going to use these hearts in some way. Not the red and white stripey side, although they are stinking cute. Look at that. That is so cute. Oh, I'm gonna those flip them are over. Cute. The little red and white ones? Very cute. They'd be cute on black. <laughs> Did I tell you that I was so cold last night that my feet were aching? You That's, started. I was so cold that. my feet ached. I was so cold I almost wore socks to bed. My feet are freezing. Okay, so what I want to do, Shannon, Surprise, huh? notice how nobody went, what? Really? <laughs> what? I know, I almost sent her a text. Nobody did it. <laughs> I almost sent her a text Saturday because we were driving north and Blake reached over and grabbed my hand and he's like, your hands are hot. Are you okay? He, Blake knows. He's been around her long enough, hasn't he? Yeah. <laughs> this is what I wanted to do oh, when I wasn't allowed to. <laughs> I wanted to have these little hearts going all up from them because they love the giraffe. Oh, Terry said you need to mix it up and use some of each color heart. No, no, no. This is this is May May theme. <laughs> she is like, taking no suggestions. Uh, on there's one mine. thing y'all know. May May don't mix it up. <laughs> she just don't. <laughs> Look how cute that is with them flying up like that to Jerry Giraffe. So now you're going to have to take them all off. I have to place it. I have to see down. where it goes and I have to decide what sentiment I'm putting on. You have to know. <laughs> I'm kind of tempted to put them in a pocket. Oh, man. What do you think of that? Yeah. Sometimes, well, never mind. Like if the little pocket, oh, yes, 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 yes. That was cute when I held it over. Didn't you think? You can't do that. But I could. Because, well, let me see what word will fit in there with it. Fun. Hugs. I'm using it. Okay. So this is the pocket that I accidentally stamped. That I told y'all not to stamp like that. I think I'll color it first so I don't have to. Color pencils. Let's do a denim look. Why do we have to do denim? Why pockets denim? Why do we do that? Well, because you're thinking about your blue jeans, I reckon. Maybe this one will be two colors. Well, Lisa, we need to get some wood. Lisa yeah. said it's 34 degrees in her house because they don't have a heat. And they do just use a wood stove. <gasps> and they're out of wood or low on wood. What? What do you do when you're low on wood? Cut down a tree. Let me tell you how city I am. Because if there ain't a truck parked somewhere where I can buy some from the <laughs> dude, <that> they have <laughs> That's how we get wood around here, right? The well, pickup truck at the buy, produce stand. We don't buy wood. We don't either. Gas, but it doesn't work. But if I was going to buy wood, or if I was going to get wood, that's how we get it, right? We just find the dude with his pickup truck well, full of... I mean, we had a tree laying in our yard after the storm. But didn't, isn't that yeah, something that, doesn't Darren do wood? He does. Yeah, so we would just do that. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Oh, I got a circle. 
it'll come back. Okay. It's y'all. It's my Wi-Fi. It's just been in and out, and so if you lose camera for a second, it'll yeah. come back. Bonnie, it'll come back. Baby's got her blue jeans on. Baby's got her blue jeans on. May May got a copyright strike. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't sing it. <laughs> yep, just get wood from the wood guy. The wood guy, that's where you get it from. Hit up the wood guy. Okay, let's stamp it before we cut it to <laughs> If anyone plays drinking games, have someone play Mamey's video and they have to drink every time she says cute. No <laughs> one will make it until the end. <laughs> You'll all be staggering out the door. <laughs> Just for that, I'm never saying it again. <laughs> There's no way I won't. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. Ha <laughs> uh ha, -huh. gotcha. Somebody else I watch. Um, who is it? Crazy Lamp Lady. She, her viewers have a drinking game around her. Because um, she says, oh, I cannot remember. Oh, it's got a bird on it. She loves birds. So she's always looking for birds. And if she says, it has a bird on it, that's their thing. Because she says it so much. She's got your bear. <gasps> Yay! I'm excited about that. Yay. Okay, so let's cut this little pocket out. I love this pocket. This pocket's gonna come in handy. Oh, Stacy got her necklace today. I got some of my order. I didn't get what I wanted to show y'all. I only got, um, I bought one of those necklace, not, I bought an extender, that didn't come in. Um, what is it called? They called it, layer. Yeah. I got the class that you can, because I have, because Vince got me a necklace for Christmas, and I want to wear my arrow necklace, but they're the literal same length. I tried to do it yesterday, and they're literally the same length. So I bought that layer piece from Kendra Scott, where you um, clasp each necklace in on a different height or different level, and then you can wear them in together. So that's what I got that in for. And I didn't know this. Bonus, it's magnet. Because I've been struggling with um, closing those little tiny clasp, and it's magnet, so that's going to make life very easy in the mornings. There's our pocket. Now, let's adjust. Okay, now, Rita, that's just cruel. What? She said maybe that can be one of your no-nos. We get to buzz you every time you say cute. Oh, that would be rough. That would be cruel. I don't really care. Do we? This pocket needs to show, doesn't it? The whole pocket should show. Hmm. It's all recording. Kathy said that Andy Morris passed away. You know, the person we sent all the cards oh. to. Oh. But she said she wanted to thank us for sending the cards. He got a he lot of cards. I mean, I felt like he, I'll tell you, we've done a lot of card call outs for people, and I think Andy got a lot of cards he did. based on what we've done in the past. Y'all, that's cute with the pocket. I think I'm going to leave the pocket on so you can see the whole thing. And now I want to do something to the background. I'm kind of feeling like Ink Dragon. It's been a long time. Wow. It's been a long time, hasn't it? It has been a while since you think we busted might that do move that. out. I think we might do that. No, let's blender brush it. It's a whole new world, man. It's a whole new, another copy strike. Okay. <laughs> a whole new copyright strike. <laughs> Look, she left her mess. That's okay. Don't we have some wet wipes yet? Are we good over there? Yeah. Do you hear from the other one too? Um, yeah. Hear from Louise? Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna clean this up because I left it a mess last time. Gotta let that dry a second. We gotta decide what we're gonna blend it with. Let's look at what we got here. What color are you? You are clean. You can be whatever I want you to be. Clean is shocking. <laughs> that is clean. Here's blue. Blue might not be bad, but the pocket's blue. Aww, I'm kind of feeling more on the red-pink side. Make a dew drop heart. Well, a dew drop heart, that goes way back. Oh, yeah. That does go way back. <laughs> You're throwing ideas into her head. It won't work on this. It won't work from a plan here. That's a good idea. Okay, Monica just said the store isn't open right now, is it? What do you mean? Not for visitors. For visitors, no. Online is buy it all. Online, you can do whatever you want. You can visit, <laughs> you can hang out. 
All right, let's do a little. That's what happens when you eat chocolate. You didn't even eat chocolate. I don't want it to be red because I want my hearts to pop. Y'all, I'm thinking I'm gonna, I don't wanna go pink. Blue. But my pocket's blue. Does Green. that matter? Green. Green. Blue is what I'm leaning to. If I just do a light blue, right? If I do a blue that doesn't take over. Do red. How about tumble glass? Yeah, yeah, I want those to really pop. Let's see what happens. I think this is a dirty brush. Clean it up. Well, there was a thing, you know, it, there was a time <laughs> when you, there was a dirty brush technique. Dirty Not in crafting, but in painting. Bob Ross never did the dirty brush technique. That man could clean a paintbrush like nobody's business. You know? He could. All right, here we go. Sorry, I was reading. Yeah, the blue is the right choice, I think. Oh, somebody said use a light yellow. Oh, yeah, that's really good. Too late. Darn our delay. Y'all aren't even going to be able to see this, but it is doing what I want it to do. I'll bring it up. just needed to have a little color. I was going to emboss it, but I don't want to have to line up my embossing folder in my slim line, you know? Mm -hmm. It kind of needs to feel like the sky, because it needs to feel like the giraffe is coming out of the sky. I can see it. Can you see it? It's barely, you can see it on the edge where um, you're going onto the paper more than you can anything. It's leaving a pretty blue edge. Has Mame ever tried watercolor? Oh, yeah. Oh, Ooh. yeah. Richard said hello. Good morning from the Philippines. It's 3.30 a.m. Wow. You got insomnia? Go to bed, Richard. Watch it on the delay, babe. Why do I feel like that's not Richard? Why do I feel like last time they told us they were using someone's, someone else's account? Is that, am I dreaming that? I could be. I don't know. It's not 3.30 in the morning here, but I'm dreaming it apparently. <laughs> You don't like sleeping at 3.30, so. I don't sleep at 3.30. I'm awake from 1 to 4 at least. One to. Last night I slept well, though. I think it's because you went to bed so early. Because I did my awake time earlier and then I went to sleep. Like, I had, I counted and I had five hours before my alarm went off. When yeah. I went to sleep, I went, when did you revive? What's the problem? Yeah, I like this. This is cute. This is cute. Or, oh, I said it. I said it like three times. <laughs> In a row. What you say? <laughs> cute. This is cute. This is cute. This is cute. <laughs> you gotta say it three more times. They're all like, go, go, go. <laughs> Too funny. All right. Let's pop this little guy up on some foam. Let's do it with the, let's, you, let's cheat your foam it. Lucy said good morning from Hawaii. Is it morning uh, in Hawaii? What's the, what is the time zone in Hawaii? You think I would know. I got quiet like she was just going to talk back to me. I oh, was I'm actually sure. trying to think. Yeah, no. It's not, would it still be specific time? Sophie, specific? what's your baby's name? Oh, that's so sweet. Your baby's waving and trying to say hello. What's your baby's hello, name? Hello, baby. I want to say hello to your baby. Foamed up. <laughs> Willow said we're getting drunk out here. Lucy <laughs> says it's 9.30 in the morning in Hawaii. Oh. 9.30 and it's 1.30 here. 12.30, 11.30, 10.30. They're four hours behind us. So it goes one, two, three, four, five. Right? I don't think so. I think there's a yeah. bigger gap. Is that right? It would have to be because California is two hours behind, right? You know, yes. we're saying Eastern's an hour before, so it's an hour before us, and then an hour after, another hour. It's too hard to explain it. I can see it in my head. Why don't we just go to Hawaii and figure it out? Okay, we'll go to Hawaii so we can figure out time zones. I always wanted to go to Hawaii. That's Vince's dream spot. All right, I'm gluing directly down my little animals, but notice I didn't glue the top of him down, just mostly him, because I'm going to tuck underneath. And I think I'll use the little black and white puppy in between as my spacer animal. I have to be honest with y'all, I think my puppy did really good this morning. Carly did not have as bad a come apart. That lightning was really, really bad. And I heard you telling her to be quiet, but the thing was, she was doing pretty good. 
You couldn't see it because the bathroom door was closed. Well, you might have seen it through the other window, but it oh, was yeah, rough. I could, I could see it. And she wasn't really coming apart. Do you see a question from Jerry? No, I didn't see it. I was just looking because I, I have not seen it. And I got the live chat, not top chat, so. I said cute. She said cute. I said cute. The thing is, y'all are just going to be coffee drunk. And you know what that means. You spend the afternoon running to the bathroom. <laughs> That's, yeah. what, that's the hangover from coffee. Oh. Potty. <laughs> Jerry, I didn't see a question. Will you ask it again, please? Remind me not to wear wind shirts on live show day. <laughs> Make a lot of noise. It makes some noise every time I move. Patricia used the cute word. Oh, she said it was very cute. If you use the other word in front of it, maybe it's not the same rule. Yeah, Jackie, I, I know it's pretty, but I, I want to go to Pearl Harbor. That's probably the reason I want to go more than anything. Um, you love beaches. I love the beach, too. yeah, but... I, I, I would probably want to go more for the historic stuff than anything else. I want to go just because that's where my dad graduated from. Wow, that's cool. Yeah. I'd like to go see where they lived. Be cool. Y'all are so funny. I love reading y'all chat. Willow said, does anybody else make their coffee in a quart mason jar? Just me. <laughs> <laughs> No court, Mason. That's how I read her saying it though. Just me? Okay, cool. <laughs> I want lots of love to come out of here. Lots of love. And y'all all called it. I hear y'all saying it. He, the giraffe needs a heart in his hand. Uh, Sophie's baby's name is Coco. Hi, Coco. Yeah, Katie, that's what I uh, originally thought that I wanted to do was be a history teacher. Because I did love history. 22 years. Do y'all know how many times I learned stuff about him I never know on this show? This is not the first time I've learned something special about you on the live show. Remember, what, remember Nuts, Nuts, Nuts World? <laughs> what was it called? Nuts World? Nuts in a Barrel? Remember? The House of Peanuts? No, it was the House of Nuts. The House of Nuts. What about the house? Your job where you sold those nuts oh, in a barrel? I didn't sell them. <laughs> I worked in the warehouse when I was... Young. But he sold, they, they sold. He sold peanuts? No, nuts and bolts. Nuts, and, nuts and, bolts. and bolts. And it was called the House of Nuts. It was called nuts. the House of Nuts. And I learned about that on this show that that was his first job. Not my first job, but one of my early that jobs. Is, I obviously don't listen because I don't know any of the details. Y'all, and now I know he wanted to be a history teacher. That's fantastic. Why did you not pursue that? Never too late. Yeah, it is too late. No, it's not too late. No. Made it con Hawaii? <laughs> yes. Hey. All right, y'all know what's gonna Don't happen. Don't tempt right? me. You know what's gonna happen. Dot dot dash has gotta happen. That means y'all gonna have to talk amongst yourselves. Can y'all do it? Made it con in Hawaii. Mm. That might make me pack it up. How you getting that cook that trailer we to going? Hawaii? The trailer wouldn't go to Hawaii, baby. That stuff would be airdropped. So it'd have to be Craft Acropolis in Hawaii. No, I mean, we could take the store. We just have it all shipped out there. Have all the distributors ship us oh, a ship stuff. show worth. Before um, before the pandemic hit, I was kind of done with traveling shows. But now if I could travel, I would do a show every weekend just to be able to see people. <laughs> would you not? Would you not be like, let's go? I don't think I would want to move the store every weekend. Uh, that might be more than I could bear. You remember, what year was it that was our busiest travel year? Was it 2018? It was 18. It was one of the years you said you wasn't going to say no. It was the year I said I wasn't going to say no, and we went everywhere. I felt like at certain points in time, I think it was before Shannon, because I felt like at certain points in time, you and I would not even unpack a suitcase. It would be that we were going so much. And then after it was over with, I went, okay, we've done that. Remember? Yeah. That's enough. I'd do it again today. Would you? It's funny how life yeah. changes your perspective on things. How events change things. 
I would love to do another cruise, Barb. That was so much fun. Barb, that cruise, I think about it all the time. I don't know if you're like me, but I go back to those rooms where we crafted in in my mind, and just I get such comfort of the thought, just the thoughts of all my friends together and crafting and all of our laughs, all the funny things, and it just, it was so good. Eating together, like you guys got to eat with us at the tables and stuff, that was so fun. Seeing y'all in the dining room with your new friends, I miss all that. And I follow, if y'all don't follow her, Captain Kate McHugh, who is the female captain on the Celebrity Cruise Line. Um, actually, she's on the Edge ship, and you can follow her. Y'all need to follow her. Follow her on Instagram, Captain Kate McHugh. Um, she makes you want to cruise so bad. Like, she'll take you on tours of the ship and tours of her room. And she has this, um, what are they, the hairless cats? Are they just hairless cats? Is that what they're called? Um, and his, her, her name is Bug Naked. It's so funny. Bug they call naked. her Bug, but her account is Bug Naked. I follow her, and it makes me long for cruising. Like, long for Well, it. you have to go on at least one more cruise. We do have to do at least one more because Sheen has never done one. Jerry, unfortunately, we cannot add to an existing order once it's been placed. Our system will not allow us to do that. Um, sorry. It's a good reason. Like, everybody asks me why. The reason is this. We don't store your credit card information, so we don't have a way to recharge you, like to, to edit a charge, which I that's how I want it to be. I do not want to be in control of y'all's credit card information. Because a lot of times people will call us and go, just put it on my card on file. Well, we don't have your card on file because I don't want to do that. Hmm. We have a suggestion that you do a dot, dot, dash stamp. I, don't we have, do we not have one? We have a dash stamp. I don't know if we have a she dot, She said dot, she dash. has arthritis in her hands and that stamp would really help her. I will do that. I know we have a dash line stamp. Our action stamp set has a stitch line. So if you're ever interested in a stitch line, there's one on that one. That's a very popular set. All right, so let's lighten up their eyes a little bit. They're a little bit gray. Let's pop them. Pop his too. I got a little color in there, so let's make that brighter. Let's give them some dots and dashes. Or we'll just do dots on the on the animals. Some little dots. That's interesting. What? I'm picking up static from somewhere. Is it static or is it this? No, it's not that. It's the actual static. Huh. Well, they are radio. I was on my phone. No, that wasn't it either. Anyway. Y'all see this? Like, this is what I wasn't allowed to do, though. I wasn't allowed to use the white pen. And in my opinion, and I'm going to bring this up to the camera if y'all say it. Don't stress. It's going to circle for a second because it's my Wi-Fi jumping out. That Maybe that's causing your static, too. Um, I'll bring this to the camera for you guys to see it. Because I think when so many people say to me, how do I make my cards look more professional? Like, how do I take them to the next level? In my opinion, and I think Shannon will agree, Shannon's learning card making along with me, right? She helps me make samples. I think she can see that sometimes when we finish a card, it can be just a little flat. But if you add the stitching and the dots and all that, it just steps it up, doesn't it? It does. I mean, it makes a huge it difference. It adds a little. Just a little something. You can't see those, so I don't waste my time where you can't see them. There's just no sense in that, right? If you can't see them, don't waste your time. All right, I think I'm going to use a stamp set I have not used in a long time that I almost used the other day, and it's still laying here waiting on me. And it's this one called Uplifting. I don't think this is a vaulted set. Sylvia says she can hear it, too. The static? Yeah. Is it really bad? I mean, it's just like a... what it sounded like. We're almost done. I'm going to do this and mount it to the card and we'll go to the next one. They're hearing it occasionally. Is it really so, bad? is this stamp set available? I don't want to. What was the name of it? Uplifting. I don't want to say it is if it's not. But for those of you who do have it, I think this will be cute to have this going right here. It is not. It was a vaulted set. Okay, this one was vaulted, so you may have this in your stash. Would you guys like another? I like this set, but like I told y'all, whenever I vault something, it's because I think we can bring it back with a new trend or a new twist. And this is one I think we could do again and probably in, and probably better. Um, would you guys like another vertical sentiment set? I think they're very handy, especially like this. 
See, that's perfect. I love you. Other people are hearing it too. They said it's not bad though. It's just they think it's some kind of uh, feedback, maybe. That's interesting. Well, you know, everything in here is radio. Those, all those, all our mics are wireless. So, I imagine that's a thing. You might need to ask our tech guy about it. We'll step out there. So. Okay. All right. So now we're going to mount. Are you saying I've gone long enough on this card? No. I'm going to mount this onto here. I think it's cute. It's not very far different. It's not very different from... Hey, will you write that down, vertical set? Vertical set? Yeah, that's one. We vaulted it so we could redo it. We need to get with Sylvia about that. Y'all didn't hear that static, that door. My bottle's empty. I picked up my art glitter clay today. It's just habit. All right, and then I'm going to glue this into place. And then normally I would put another white panel on the inside and like doctor it up. But I think what I want to do is do another white panel on the inside and then add the giraffe again like I did. And I'll, rather than do that, because I feel like our Wi Fi is doing the best it can right now, I'm going to sign out of this and get to our after show so we can have a little bit of an after show. Because last week we didn't even get to have one. And y'all see me make this card twice. Okay, this is May May's version. And this is the Off Limit Challenge version. And I don't care. You won't hurt my feelings. Tell me which one you like best. One or two? I sound like an eye doctor. Better one, better two. Who was the captain you were talking about? Captain Kate McHugh. I think it is M-C-C-U-E. Captain Kate McHugh. She is a beautiful woman, very classy, yes. worth watching, isn't she? Yeah. Very, very, very neat woman. Oh, and somebody said the cat is called a sphinx. Oh, they're called a sphinx. I didn't know that. That's interesting. I just you always say called them a sphinx. M-C-C-U-E? M-C-C-U-E, I think. Whoa. One, 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 Whoa. one, one, one. Look one, at you one, guys. One, two, 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 one. Okay, so then. Here's the thing. Now you see what happens when you have a style. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know you guys are like, oh, she's doing red, black, and white again. Or, oh, she's doing whatever. But the truth of the matter is, it's where my comfort zone lies. Like, it's where... You know, how okay. to be, you know how to be creative in what you do. I know how to do, <laughs> yeah. I know how to work this, Yeah. right? Yeah. And it's okay. The fun thing is, I learned so much from this one yesterday, because even since I've been thinking about it, one thing I think that would have been key, well, again, I couldn't use white. No. But one thing on this card that is key is if these animals had the little white edges like these, like some of these have, because some of these don't, we cut them out directly. But if these little guys had white edges... Yeah. That would make a huge difference. They would pop better. But it's cool for you to see this, right? I think it's neat. Um, this one just it speaks to me more. It just does. So, But some of you like too, and that's good. Let me say something to you. Just like in our black wreath we made recently. Did y'all see the black wreath? So many of you were shocked how good it came out. And a couple of the viewers were like, I wouldn't have used black. And I totally get that. That's the beauty. I can't tell you how many times that um, I post a video and somebody's like, this is not for me, this is not blah, blah, blah. I understand. Because one thing I want to tell you is your eye goes to your style or to your favorite color. That's the reason it's your favorite color. You're drawn to it, you know. So don't feel bad about having a color rut. I don't. I feel confident in my color rut. Like, I know these colors work for me, right? I do not feel confident in pinks and purples. I'm not confident in that. And I think it shows... If I had to remake this exact card again, if I could use white, it would be completely different because I would put everything on white. I would still use the pink, but I would like back drop everything on white. So I think it's cool. Um, one is definitely Mei Mei, but two would be my style. See, that's the thing. That's what's so cool. And I like that we all have our own style. I think it's important. I would also decorate the envelope. Especially in these slimline cards. And y'all get excited about that because Shannon and I are very excited about that. Yes. About decorating envelopes. Get excited. Get excited. Get excited. Okay. Let's go to the after show so we can talk about anything we want to. All right. Can we do that? Sure All right, can. guys. So is it is the Lincoln? Uh, probably not. 
She's going to put the link <laughs> in. I'm just sitting back here like I got nothing else to do. I thought about putting him at an angle um, while ago, too. I think that's a good idea and just kind of bring him off the page a little bit. That would be cute. But either way, his I, it would even be, I'll tell you, it would be really, really, really cute if you didn't even put his hands in, if you cut his hands off. Then it's really funny. Then he looks really tall, like his head is like peeking in. Can you see that where my fingers are? Oh, yeah. Yeah, like if you took his hands off, he really looks like he's like. Uh-huh. <laughs> that would be funny. He's cute. All right, there's the link to the after show. We're going to head out of this one, and I'm going to reset for just a second, and we'll see you in the after show. Y'all guys head over there and chat. If you click on that link, you can go ahead and start chatting with each other. You